Hey, this is Emily at Oz Inflatable Kayaks. Now let's talk whitewater versus flat water. So first thing I'll say is that all of our kayaks are capable of up to class two whitewater. The key thing to think about is what you're doing most of the time. So the air fusion line and the advanced frame line, including the tandems down here, these are primarily designed for flat water. Okay, they're designed to track straight and go fast, sort of cut through chop on flat water. Whereas when we start to look at our straight edge line, these are what we call crossover kayaks. So if we drop down and look at up to class three, uh, these guys have some features that are great for white water and some features that help them track on flat water. So you may say, well, why don't I just get these? They do everything, right? But there is a bit of a compromise, okay? Because they're good at white water, they compromise a little bit on their performance on flat water. So if you're mostly doing flat water, uh, you wanna stick to the air fusion and the advanced frame line. If you're doing mostly sort of class two or class three rapids, that's when you really look at the straight edge line. Now, if you're doing full white water, that's a whole nother story. So then you want to look at our attack white water. This is a custom white water kayak. It can do any class of white water that you are competent to do. However, it's no good on flat water. So don't try and take it down to a lake. You'll have a very frustrating ride. Okay. It does full white water, but not flat water. Now, if you have any questions about how to choose a kayak in terms of, you know, it's white water or flat water capability, please don't hesitate to get in touch. This is Emily at Oz Inflatable Kayaks.